Welcome to M2 Hockey and HockeyShare.com. Today we're going to go over a defenseman moving from the wall side to the middle of the ice. Now this is an important skill whenever you're trying to get a shot on net or trying to hold the zone as a defenseman. So what we want to do is we want to talk about, first we'll, we'll look at uh, the strong side, so righty being on the right wall here. And we're going to look at picking this puck up. Okay, I'm on my forehand side here, got a nice little hockey stance. As I get this, the first thing is it's most important is to get quick movement to the middle of the ice. Sometimes you'll see skaters kind of leisurely skate back to the middle, but we want to make sure it's an explosive movement. So if you watch the backwards quick start video, it'll explain the exact technique, but we want to get here, we want to quick out, and we want to move to the middle of the ice. There's a couple different techniques we're going to use. First one we'll talk about is that backwards quick start, taking one backwards crossover uh, to generate the speed, or one or two crossovers here to generate speed to the middle. So first, most strong side D are going to be a couple feet inside the blue line. So you're holding the zone. If you're inside, one of the methods you can use is a backwards crossover that actually brings you closer to the blue line as you move to the middle of the ice. Now what this is going to do is it's going to buy you some extra space between your attacker and the puck. So instead of moving just directly to the middle and allowing that attacker to continue to gain that space on you, we're actually moving this puck back as we move to the middle of the ice. So we're creating space for ourselves. So basically the pattern is kind of an arc from here across the blue. When you're making this move, it's completely fine if your feet go outside the blue line. So if I'm here, the important thing is the puck stays inside the zone. Doesn't matter if your feet leave it. So you're still on sides. So don't be afraid to try this in practice and in games with your feet outside the line, puck inside the zone. Next option, we're gonna do a simple forward pivot. So we're gonna catch the puck here. I'm gonna open up, sprint to the middle of the ice, walk, and move to the middle. Now this option is a little bit more difficult in terms of trying to uh, actually get the shot off quickly because you have to you have to remember you're going to still have to turn your body at some point towards the net okay to get that shot on. So the way we're going to do that is as we're stepping here we do a cross step, quick start, whatever you want here. We're going to bring that puck back in underneath the body so we can use our stick and we're going to Flex our stick to get a quick shot on net. So again, speed here, regardless of which technique we're gonna, you're gonna use, is super important. So you're here, cover distance quickly. You're here, cover and walk quick. So no matter what you do, you have to explode off the wall. Next, we're gonna look at the backhand side. So next, on the backhand side, we also have two options from here. Number one is to start right here, puck's on our backhand side. We're gonna bring the puck across our body with a quick start forward, open up, move laterally across the blue line. Uh, again, even on the backhand side, explosive, explosiveness here is important. So we have to get here, walk quickly, create a better shooting lane for ourselves. Next, you can also use that backwards quick start technique again Make that angle, that arc, and pivot forward. Okay, so here, again, we're drawing back slightly. Feet can go outside the blue line, create a little bit further gap between your, uh, your attacker and yourself. Moving, pivot forward. As you pivot forward, since you're on your off hand here, your stick blades to the middle of the ice. This gives you a much better shooting lane. So, you'll see this a lot on power plays. Coaches will switch their defensemen. Right-handed D on the left side and vice versa. Whole reason is now we walk off the wall. I have a better shooting angle here. And the other thing too is I can make a quick pass. A lot of power plays work passes up high. If I'm here on my forehand, I can make a pretty strong crossbody pass going right back to a, to a support forward right there. Okay, next we're going to look at how to read the shot and what angles to look at. Okay, so now you've gone ahead and you've walked to the middle of the ice. Okay, we've got the puck here, so if I was the guy walking, I'd be ready to take my shot right here. But what we've got to look at is we've got to figure out what angles are open, what options are open to us. Okay, you want to look for a few different options. First off, you want to look for short side option, you want to look for back door option, you want to look for the shot on net. 
okay? And worst case, if you have nothing, you want to get the puck deep, make sure it gets below the goal line, into a corner, or into another safe area. If the puck's right there, the defenseman has to read, okay, where that attacking player is, is at in terms of the eyes of the puck, meaning the angle of the puck to the net is somebody in my passing lane, okay, or shooting lane, I should say. So if the attacker's coming right here, the body is in the puck's lane, okay? Some defensemen, what they see, if they're a righty over here, their body's over here, lefty over there, they see the space here, but that's not where the puck's going. The puck is going right here, so you have to think in terms of the eyes of the puck. So in this case, okay, this angle, this shot, is not a clean lane. Good attacker is going to have his shin pads together, going to block your shot, he's going to go the other direction for a simple breakaway. Okay, so you have to look in terms of the puck. If the attacker is coming right here, sometimes this is where defensemen feel like they have more pressure than they actually do. Okay, because they see the, the attacker coming at the body. But if you look, the puck lane is still relatively open. Just my stick is there. And a good hard shot, no matter what, even if it hits my stick, it's either going to break my stick or it's going to knock it out of the way. I'm not going to be able to com uh, completely control it clean. Okay, so that's when you have to recognize that there's a good angle or good opportunity to get that puck through. So watch where the attacker's coming. If the attacker's coming at your body, you have a lane to move the puck. Okay, if the attacker's coming at the puck, you've got to find an outlet. Short side, back door, safe play to the corner, back up high, a little outlet. Depends on where you have your support, but always look in terms of the puck. Hope you found these tips helpful. We'll see you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.